Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Let's start our discussion with our project title of Towards Differential Query Service in Cost Efficient Clouds which comes under the ITB transaction on Parallel and Distributed System. Now I will explain you the abstract of this paper starting from the domain knowledge. Initially the cloud computing platform gives the people the opportunity for sharing the resources, services and the information among the people of the whole world. Great efforts have been made for facilitating users via the keyword search. Keyword searches are typically done so that users can actively utilize the clouds to query a collection of files that can be retrieved from the clouds. Mainly in this paper, we define and solve the problem of secure ranked keyword search over the encrypted cloud data. Ranked search greatly enhances the system usability by enabling search result which is relevant ranking instead of sending a undifferentiated results and further ensures the file retrieval accuracy. This is the data flow diagram of this project. Starting from the admin login control, admin can log in into the cloud storage by uh, authentication. So only the valid uh, admin can uh, gain the access, otherwise uh, it can be uh, denied from the entry of this cloud storage. So after the admin gets uh, the access, so they can update uh, all the details of both the data user and the data owner and uh, they can also view the rank matrix which are uh, created by the uh, accessing of uh, each files so these details can be stored or updated in the cloud storage so after this process we can start over with the data owner entry into the cloud using their registered username and password which can uh, ensures the authentications of the cloud storage so after this uh, valid uh, entry of this data owner, they can uh, select a file and uh, made it into a encrypted using a uh, encryption algorithms and uh, uh, they can securely upload under the cloud storage. So after the secure file updation of a uh, cloud storage, we can start over with the entry of a data owner which can be entered into the system. Uh, which ensures the authentication using the registered username and password. Only the valid data user can uh, now start over for the file request stations from the cloud. So first they have to select a keyword and a rank for a specified file uh, which can be sent to a cloud storage for a previous searching. And uh, once the cloud storage uh, finished its searching, based upon this keyword and rank they will return a set of uh, files uh, in an encrypted manner uh, so only a valid data user can know about the key in which they are gets uh, encrypted so using that same key they can uh, use to, to decrypt the returned files and uh, access the requested files so here the unauthorized uh, users and the owners can be uh, considered as a invalid entry and gets blocked from this entry of cloud storage now i will show you the demo of this project starting from the admin login control form so here just enter a admin's username and his password and after the successful entry they can enter into a cloud storage now here they can view the all cloud storage the files along with this uh, personal information of uh, owners and the storage file along with ID and the name and the files and the owner name and its corresponding IDs and the number of keywords which exist under the each file name which is going to be used for a file retrieving and its corresponding rank here the rank represents the number of times the user gets accessed with so here using this owners updation we can just update uh, all the owners details here and uh, I can just update using this update button you can also delete using this delete button for the entire record and uh, here I can just view those updated records along with the others uh, registered owners records right here and uh, Coming back to the home page, I can also update the owner's details like here. 
I can update and can delete and can get viewed once again retrieving from the DB I extract all the registered uh, users records and they're coming back to its home page of the admin control form so after this process we're gonna log in as a data owner right here so just enter a registered owner name and a password and it gets login into this cloud storage once they get match so here i will generate a unique file id and just enter a file name and just browse a file uh, in which i am going to upload for example i will just uh, select this file.txt as input and uh, generate some of the keyword and here i get the uh, owner's details through which i am going to upload this file into a cloud so after this uh, information retrieval i will just in insert these file records into a db and uh, we will start over with the retrieving the file information from a cloud server i will just encrypt the selected file successfully and uh, after the successful encryption i will just upload these encrypted file into a cloud storage so now i can log in as a data user so for a new user registration i can come over in a registration form you can just uh, enter the basic details so suppose uh, just uh, enter a first name and last name just select a sex and uh, these date of registration displays the date in which we going to register so here i will just enter a date of birth and a city and a address right here so here just enter a zip code and provide a mail id and his contact number and here we generate a unique id and a password like this and uh, just uh, check this uh, two password and uh, once it is get matched we can register it successfully so after this i can log in using our created username and password like uh, So once it gets matched successfully, we can log in into a cloud. So here I generate a rank matrix which based upon the uh, number of access of each files. Here there are, there are three type of uh, file downloading uh, which uh, represented in our base paper. Here we have compared three types of uh, EIRQ like simple, privacy and last one is a efficient thing so i can show you the comparison of these three algorithms so start over with a simple so i can now enter a file name as cloud and uh, just gonna enter a cloud ip address so now run the same form in the cloud server package just uh, to try this so it shows a pop-up message for a file request now just send these details to a cloud so after this we can just uh, retry this in here and uh, now i'm going to 
enter the same password which I used for encryption to decrypt the same file so here I get the plain text of the uh, encrypted file so after this I can just download it in a B drive which gets increased in a rank matrix so here I can check the rank matrix which uh, increased to 1 so right now we can just uh, uh, start sending using a EIRQ privacy method so and uh, enter uh, now here just receive it and just send send it to a cloud Which, now I'm going to download the same file using this privacy method so just start run this uh, form under this data user method and just take this privacy method and uh, just enter a file name and a username and just enter a cloud IP address and uh, here I can just start receiving this line request now it is ready to receive it from the data owner and uh, here just enter the same key to decrypt this file and it gets stored in a D drive here it will be incremented in a rank matrix into tree and uh, for now we can start over with the efficient uh, one so this is the most secured uh, way which is described in our base paper for file retrieving so here just start entering the username and the owner name and the IP address right here and just run this form just click this receive button and you can be send it to a cloud right here so here we have to just enter the corresponding file id so which can be obtained from the cloud storage so this is the id of that uh, particular file that is 798 just enter the 798 and it will be successfully decrypted and once again it will get stored in the D drive and uh, now the corresponding file rank will be incremented to 4 so these are the process we have to done for the just showing the increment of a file ranks so now we can start over with the uh, rank query method so this is our final process and then now we can just enter any one of the keyword which we get stored under a, uh, each of the file names and i can select any one of the rank so to start searching these uh, corresponding keyword and the rank in the cloud you can start over with the file download now here we say search it for this uh, corresponding uh, java as a keyword and this rank one we got this uh, java vb and these are the file names so whatever we have to 
download now just select the particular file name and just click this download file to decrypt and download successfully so that we can just view this in this decrypt file we just obtain this uh, selected file in a decrypted manner so that's all thank you for watching this video